Okay guys, we're getting ready to do some thick aluminum. This is about quarter inch. We've beveled the edges a little bit. You know, anything one eighth of an inch and over, just do a little bevel on your material. You don't have to clean it, it'll weld better if you'll just heat it up, take a brush and brush it off like that. All right, I'm using a 1 8 rod, a thicker rod for your thicker aluminum. Take your flux, again, just mix it with a little bit of water. All you need to do is just put it strictly on the rod right here. All right, now, I'm using my number two tip. It's got two rings on it. Remember, that's what I weld, anything 1 8 of an inch and over. All right, I'm going to cut the heat up just a little bit, just to preheat. All thick aluminum. The larger, the thicker it is, the more preheat you have to do. Aluminum dissipates and pulls that heat out too much. You just can't go down and heat up that one little area. So you have to preheat a larger area right here. Go down and wait for it to start to melt or wrinkle. All right, now once it starts to melt and wrinkle, we're going to go back and make a smaller flame on it. You know, just all feather right here. All right, hold that torch just like you would a TIG torch. Take that cone down closer to the metal. We're going to go back and get the aluminum where it's starting to wrinkle or melt. Push the rod in. All right, now notice that we just physically melt that rod. Sometimes on real thick stuff, you can use a circular motion. But if it's flowing real nice like this, All right, now notice just how nice a weld that we got on that thicker aluminum. You can see right there. If you look real close, it might be hard. We got 100% penetration on that weld. Now you can also, you know, you can, just like I was saying before, the guys that do horseshoes, putting heart bars in, it does an excellent job. Does a real nice job, the farmers with the irrigation pipe. So, you know, on the aluminum from thin metal up to 3 8 plate, does an excellent job of welding.